Yo guys, episode one of the mini series, which is covering five health supplements that I think everyone should take. Um, I'm gonna keep this brief, five minutes or so. Episode one, we're gonna be covering NAC, um, N-acetyl cysteine. Episode two, we're gonna be covering vitamin K2. Episode three, we're gonna be covering ubiquinol. Uh, episode four, we're gonna look into Tudka. And episode five, we're gonna cover citrus bergamot. First off, let's point out one that's recommended by myself, uh, NAC by Swanson Professional, because Swanson is a brand that I was suggested to use by uh, Evan Senapani back in the day, and I trust them. Brilliant brand, great range, they do all sorts of supplements. This particular NAC is a 600 milligram, capsules moderate size, so anyone that is a struggler with capsules, you could actually open this because it's a capsule and just pour in water and just drink it, um, basically, yeah. So there's not too much to say on this particular product other than it's uh, great for protecting the liver. It does also have protection uh, properties to the brain, uh, the kidneys and other fatty areas in the body as well. Um, the main reason I would use this, keeping it really simple, is that it restores levels of a particular com compound called glutathione. Glutathione is something that neutralizes toxins and pollutants that accumulate in the liver but also in the brain and in the kidneys so if you can restore these levels these are my notes sorry let's have a look then it'll make the liver cells more able to protect themselves against damage caused by fatty accumulation viral infections or drug-induced damage bodybuilders take note drug-induced damage it happens the foods we eat, fatty foods, you know, if you're off season and you're being a little bit too greedy, uh, trans fats, saturated fats, etc., etc. Um, so viral infections as well, you know, we all get ill sometimes. So if we can take some of this and prevent that, that's another great thing. Um, the good thing about this particular product is that its conversion into glutathione is very quick. So if you would supplement this today, it's getting to work so it's not like you've got to do a load in phase or take four weeks before it starts to do anything it's literally in away and you go um, recommended dosages for bodybuilders are no different than just the recommended dosages they say adhere to the label this is being a 600 milligram capsule so just take one a day okay um, the reason I say that is because if you use too much there is some small side effects such as dizziness uh, nausea could be stomach pain as well um, so avoid that and just stick to the label it's better to have that than not have it okay so why would I recommend this why am I saying use something that protects the liver okay the liver does so many functions in the body we are bodybuilders and ultimately we're trying to grow or we're trying to lose fat or we're trying to process food we're trying to digest we're trying to assimilate we're trying to synthesize all of these processes need the liver to be running optimally. And if those levels of glutathione are not optimal, then the liver's gonna have a hard task doing anything, and we can't have that performing shitly, because if that performs shit, then it's all a waste of time. So basically, keeping it sweet, keeping it short, keeping it simple, if you can keep those levels of glutathione through supplementation of NAC at an optimal level, then the liver's gonna do its job well, and the body's gonna respond to whatever the stimulus is you are trying to create. Um, there are foods that are rich in this, but it's gonna be hard pressed to get the same milligram. But you know, pork, um, they say, uh, what else was, uh, has these in? I've got notes here, so we can just quickly go through a few examples if you're someone that doesn't wanna supplement highly. Um, other foods that are great to get this from are fish, from cheese, from chicken, um, and eggs so there you have it oh sunflower seeds as well um, if you eat a shitload of those you might get something out of there um, among another function as well cysteine does help create antioxidants in the body and can reduce the severity of obviously other illnesses as well so great product video under five minutes this is episode one peace out thanks for listening oh and if you can add to the video please if you're knowledgeable and you know more and you've got something to give that would benefit any of the listeners, please comment below. I want you to do that because I'm new to this. So are the guys. Share some info. Help us out. Peace and love. Thanks for watching.